Hello guys, welcome to the Tech Guy stuff. Today we will see how to enable a Hyper-V on Windows 10. So by default we will get this feature on Windows 10. So let us see how to enable that feature. By default it will be in disabled state. We have to enable it if you require. So before starting our session today, uh, if you are still not subscribed my channel, please do the subscription and like and share my video if you like it. Uh, if you subscribe my videos, uh, my channel, you will get my videos regular updates. So, which I have updated any new video, you will get, you will get a message or any email communication that the new video has been updated. So, please do the subscription and uh, support me. And if you require any help on that one, just comment. I will uh, try to resolve the issues. Okay. So, let us start today's work. So right now this is my Windows 10 uh, laptop that I have connected now. So just what we have to do now is uh, in Windows you can see the Windows button and uh, in keyboard you have to press the two buttons simultaneously Windows and X. So once you press the Windows and the X uh, it will give you the dialog box like this. Uh, in that you can see the programs and features. Yeah. This is the one way you can open this one or else you can open this by typing programs so once you type the programs and features it will give the this one you can also open the programs and features by typing this so there are two methods don't be confused any way you can open this one the same will be appear here so it will display the default application which you have installed on your laptop or computer so what we have to do now we have to find an option like this turn windows features on or off so just click on that one so it will uh, give the pop-up dialog box uh, like this windows features so here you can see the hyper v you can see just expand the hyper v there is a two options so one one is the hyper v management tools and the hyper v platform just check these two and click ok yeah so right now it is uh, applying the features and it is install enabling the features the hyper v module so usually it will take uh, one or two minutes uh, to enable the features we have to wait for two minutes uh, in order to see this okay so if you still having any difficulty to find features or uh, to enable the hyper-v um, just comment on below uh, my video so such that uh, I will address your queries and I'm also dropping my mail. If you have any queries, you can also drop me a mail. We'll uh, we'll check and we'll update the issues. It will be better if you share the screens. Uh, if uh, if you popping any errors or something like that, just share me the screen. Okay. So now it's been completed. The Windows completed the requested changes. Uh, Windows need to be rebooted. You need to reboot the PC before the changes will be applied. So. I'm just uh, clicking on restart now. Yeah, now I have restarted my mission. So after restarting, uh, uh, what you have to do, the feature is already enabled. Uh, I will show you how to find that feature, the Hyper-V that we have enabled now. So just click on the start menu and go to all applications and drag down and search for the windows administrative tools so just expand this one there you can see the hyper-v manager right uh, just click on the hyper-v manager so will take some time to load this and this is my pc right now i'm using and this is the hyper-v manager so just click on the pc name and here you can see the features that we can observe in Hyper-V. So we have successfully enabled the Hyper-V. 
so that's it guys uh, for today's class uh, if you like my videos uh, please like subscribe and share my videos and comment if you're still having any issue to enable the hyper on windows 10 please comment on it so that i will address your queries and we'll see and uh, don't miss my channel and we'll see how to create a virtual mission in the next video thanks for watching have a nice day